This is Torvosaurus. Torvosaurus is a bipedal carnivore found in North America and Portugal. Estimates of its size had it reaching lengths of 30 to 36 feet and weighing somewhere between one and a half to two and a half tons. Hello everybody, today we have Torvosaurus, our little surprise dino from Primordial Tyrants. There is already a Torvosaurus mod in game, but this is just Primordial Tyrants' version of it. So let's go through the subspecies right quick. First up, we have Tannerai here. It looks really, really good. I love the forearms here and the feet are huge. You can see some of the pattern on the tail here and over here on the mouth. It looks really, really good. Next we have Stocky. You can see you just got a little bit chunkier in the legs, the chest in the stomach here the throat a little bit too it's got a couple more wrinkles as well but other than that looks pretty much the same then we have slim here you can see the head is definitely smaller it makes it look a little bit longer as well we've got smaller neck here less muscle on the tail the stomach and the chest is a little bit smaller as well then we have larger crest which you can see over the eyes here and we're back to our mildly chunky torvosaurus here next we have exposed teeth which we still have a large crest but you know we have no lips now so it looks really good next we have head variation which you can see the back of the head here is a little bit higher up and more exposed it's not as smooth we still have the crest here but it's more like the standard version of it and then the jaw is a little bit different here let's check the female skin right quick there we go it's just a darker brown here on the back color but other than that looks pretty much exactly the same all right let's go through the calls very quick first up is broadcast I love the sounds and the animation for that a lot. It was really, really good. It does sound like it should be louder just with all the movement that it's doing. Two call. Very nice and simple, pretty straightforward. Threaten. Okay, okay. It's a bit more hissy, a bit more dry, but you got that step. The animation is really good. Four call. I love the four call. I love four calls that are very expressive and emotive. Talk. This is really short. It feels like it's cut off a little bit, like it should be a little bit longer of a sound, but maybe that's just me. Shake. Oh, it's all front, just shoulders. <laughs> I love shoulder shakes though. Look around. Sniffing the ground a little bit. Then looking up. Off to our left there. Okay. Uh, mystery one. I'm not sure what this is. Like an inspection type thing. Mystery two. Oh, what are we doing here? Showing off our neck. Maybe that's like a mating display. I'm not sure. It was very subtle. And then our invite is going to be the same as our two call. All right, here's our baby model. Let's check it out real quick. I think it looks very cute. It does kind of just look like a shrunk down adult still though. Like if you really look at it, there's not too much difference. The eyes are slightly bigger because of the body size comparison. But other than that, it looks pretty much like the adult model. Let's go through the calls right quick. First up, we have broadcast. <laughs> it was barely anything. <laughs> but that seems to be like a running theme for babies. They sound, they don't have too much going for their sounds. Two call. Oh, the two call was cute. That one was really cute. Breton. <laughs> that one is full on hiss. No rumble at all. Four call. That's pretty good. Talk. Mm, that sounds very similar to the adult, but that actually sounds like a full sound, unlike the adult sound. Shake. Good shake. Look around. <laughs> Very good. Mystery one. Hmm, or maybe they're like sick or something. I'm not sure. I thought it was an inspection email, but I don't know for sure. Mystery two. Ooh, 
I don't know why, but I love the sound for this, for the baby, so much better. It's like a really nice constant hum. It's very, very, very good. All right, let's check out the baby animations right quick. Let's walk. It's straight into basically a run. It's really fast, actually. I don't know if that's just because, oh, the turn radius is awesome. <laughs> kind of goofy from the front, though. Let's see our actual run. Oh, okay, there we go. Our length stride, like our stride length is much longer when we're actually running, whereas the walk was just like a fast and almost run. Let's see if we got a jump here. Oh, we do. Pretty decent height. All right, everybody, and here's the adult model. It honestly looks so good. Hey, like, look at this smooth very clean i love the way they sculpted the head here just very very nice but let's go through the adult animations right quick here's our walk it's a pretty decent speed it's nice and slow pretty steady you got some weight to it too, as well in the front looks less goofy a little bit more scary here's our run there we go, much longer stride. It's still pretty heavy. It doesn't feel that much faster than the walk. Like enough, but just not that much. Very nice though. See if we can jump. No jump as an adult. Let's take a seat. Leaves out of breath. This is a pretty quick, simple animation. Very good. Let's sleep. Bit of yawn, a little head wiggle, and then we put our head straight down. No curl up like everybody else tends to do. That's pretty nice though. I think it works. Get up. Awesome. That's actually really quick get up animation. People aren't gonna be able to jump you that easily. So that's very good. Let's do our precise movement now. Here's our turn in place. I don't hate it, but I don't love it either. And it might just be because like it's doing the step turn in place, right? And it feels kind of like it stops after it goes through one loop of that animation to our left. Yeah, see the little bit of jitteriness here to the right. It looks a little bit awkward. Let's back up. The backup is pretty decent, though. Back up and turn. That's pretty good. Let's do our crouch right quick. Pretty good. Looks pretty natural. Crouch walk. It's very fast, actually. I think this looks really good. Really nice animation. Here's our disturb burrow animation. We're basically just using our foot here to dig out. Here's our eating animation right quick. It's very chompy, <laughs> you know. Oh, I like that head lashing at the end there. Very nice. Here's our drinking animation right quick. Doing a bit of a squat and we're taking nice slow sips. Pretty good. I'm getting nothing but air here, but we can at least see the animation. Here's our swimming animation. It's pretty decent speed. It's just exactly what I would expect speed wise. I think this is very good if you want to chase something at least quickly into the water. All right, let's go through these skins right quick. This is the male default skin. Next up, we have Badlands, Tropical, Albino, Melanistic, Angled, Tigris, Jaeger, Filigree, Georgia, Clouded, Venom, Molten, Canyon, Society, Antiliqua. Honestly, these are really, really good. I like most of these. I think they're very fitting. This one looks like the, the Rex, the PT Rex. Let's check out the abilities right quick. First, we have an extra census slot, I believe. Yeah, we have 25% acceleration, plus 3% attack damage, and plus 15% attack knockback. That's interesting. I didn't think we were going to do knockback with this dinosaur. Then we have two head slots. First up, we have bite causes medium damage successful bite stacks damage that's interesting depends on how much this does then we have competitive strike a bite attack that decreases the speed of your target Ooh. shatter point low damage bite when biting a primed target the bite deals extra damage so i'm wonder if primed means 
this stack or competitive strike. I'm not sure what primed means here. Next we have splintering bite. Low damage bite gives the primed debuff. Okay. So basically you want to stack splintering bites and then use shatter point to do more damage. But why would I do that if I have these other two bites that do more damage already? Unless it keeps, you know, stacking really, really high to become a high damage bite. I'm not sure. Then we check our senses. We have Berserker. When low on health, your attacks cool down 25% faster and deal 10% more damage. And then Headhunter, the nearest creature outside of group takes increased headshot damage. So they want you to face tank a couple of things from what I'm getting from this, which is an interesting strategy. Hopefully it has the health to do that. Then we have front limb. We have shove, lunge forward, knocking back enemies. Okay, that's like Serato's old move. It might still have that actually, I'm not sure. Metabolism, we have sugar tooth, able to eat fruits and roots in addition to meat, lowers food and water drain by 25%. That's actually very good for you as a player in a survivalist situation. Then we have hyper carnivore, only able to eat meat, food drains much slower. Scavenger can eat fish, meat, carrion, shellfish and bones, fast food and water drain. Then for hide, we have standard and then resilient scales increases bleed and venom healing by 30%. Then we have glancing scales reduces knockback received by 50%. And then slick scales bucking and struggling while being carried will now drain enemy stamina 30% faster. For our legs, we have braced legs, ignore uphill movement decrease, increases speed when moving downhill by 10% and reduces falling damage by 10%. So you can definitely chase around like, I don't know, packies and probably lambs. Long distance runner reduces running stamina by 15%. I usually use that because it's you know, very useful. Tail, we have tail attack, an attack that causes light damage. Balanced, gain 5% increased turning. And then armor tail, damage and status effects afflicted to your tail is dramatically reduced. Then our voice call, we have one rallying call, get a surge of energy, replenishes 25 stamina. So basically if you wanna run someone down, you can use this and it'll let you do it. But we definitely don't have any group based abilities, so seems like he's going to be a solitary creature all right let's go through the abilities right quick first up we have bite oh i love the sound it has a nice deep crunch to it very nice and that just does medium damage next we have competitive strike basically the same as the regular bite but i think with a little bit longer cooldown but this one's going to decrease the speed of your target then we have splintering bite Oh, I just love the bite sound so much. That animation is really good, by the way. This is going to give your target the prime debuff, which makes you take more damage from our next ability right here, Shatter Point. Ooh. It's kind of wild that by themselves, these abilities have low damage, but if you use them together, it does a lot of damage or it should do more damage. Our next ability here is Shove. You have to be moving to do it. One more time from the front, Shove. And it's basically like a side swipe. Not sure how useful it's gonna be, but one more time, shove. That's pretty decent. Next we have tail slap. Oh, it starts off slow, but it speeds up towards the end there, which isn't too bad. And then here's our voice ability, rallying call. Oh, this is very soft. It was not at all what I thought when I think of like rallying. But that's going to give you 25 more stamina and will help you chase down your prey longer. So yeah, that's about it for our friend Torvasaurus here from Primordial Tyrants. My opinion on the guy is he's definitely supposed to be a solo creature not made for pack hunting at all. Torvasaurus has decent turning in place speed and decent stamina and actually is really good at swimming. So I would definitely be using this guy to chase them down. Its abilities revolve around stamina and damage. I do have to see how the low damage ability bites work like if they stack the way that claw barrage does for suko i'm sure it could be pretty good but until i see that i'm not sure if you should even really use those there was no real explanation for the prime debuff but from what i got you can basically decrease your opponent's defense overall torvosaurus model is really really nice to look at they have great skins you have a pretty decent speed on land and in the water the sounds and animations are really really good for most of them there's a few here and there that could use a bit more work but other than that i'm very excited to play torvosaurus hopefully you'll catch me in game but yeah thank you guys so much for watching if you like this video make sure to check out my other videos i cover a lot of different mods and games that you might not have heard of so yeah thank you guys so much for watching and i'll see you in the next video